now it is the awkward truth in Washington today, of course, that Republicans just aren't that relevant to policy outcomes, to what passes in either House of Congress. They got really, 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 really badly trounced in the last election, and therefore they are now a really, 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 really small minority in both houses of Congress. So Republicans don't matter that much. And that means that even the pro-healthcare reform forces are targeting Democrats, conservative Democrats. Whether it's because conservatives are sympathetic to the insurance or drug or medical supply companies, or because they're simply ideologically opposed to health reform for some reason, conservative Democratic senators like Ben Nelson of Nebraska have cast themselves as swing voters on health care, the ones who will make or break this chance at reform. Accordingly, here's an ad that's being run right now by two progressive groups it's being run both in D.C. and in Senator Nelson's home state of Nebraska. For six years, I've owned a sizzling skillet here in Ralston, Nebraska. Last week, my health insurance agent called. He told me my rates were going to go up 42% from last year. I can't afford that. I told him I may have to cancel the coverage. I'm just going to pray my kids don't get sick. When President Obama proposes a public health insurance option that would force the private insurance companies to compete in lower rates, that's exactly what my family needs. Now I hear that Ben Nelson, the senator that I voted for, is leading the charge to delay health reform this summer. But that's exactly what they want. The health and insurance companies that have given Senator Nelson over $2 million know that if they can stall reform, they can kill it. I have to ask, Senator, whose side are you on? If you're on my side, stay at work. My family can't wait for reform. It's definitely not as scary as shutting down a town hall meeting with a screaming tantrum. It's also not without substance. What happened after this ad went up in Nebraska may be the real story here. Senator Nelson called Michael Snyder, owner of the Sizzlin Skillet and star of the ad that was running against him. Mr. Snyder joins us now from Omaha after graciously allowing our staff to pester him through the lunch rush at his restaurant at the Sizzlin Skillet. Mr. Snyder, thanks very much for joining us here tonight. Thanks for having me, Rachel. Um, I know that you've <clears throat> supported Senator Nelson politically in the past. You voted for him. What moved you to do this ad? I don't imagine it was an easy decision. You mean besides the fact that my insurance rates went up 42%? <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that was one of the major motivations. And the second motivation was the fact that it looked like we were starting to make some progress. And Senator Nelson decided that he was going to stand up and slow the process down and I thought we were going to go someplace. After the ad was released, I understand that Senator Nelson uh, called you personally. How did that conversation go? Did he, did he make you feel any differently about anything that you said in the ad? He didn't change my mind. We basically had a, a debate on the telephone. People who are um, opposed to health care reform often cite um, small business owners, such as yourself, as potential victims of any change to the system. So what, when you talk to Senator Nelson, and just talking right now, what is your perspective as a small businessman on whether or not health care reform would be a help to you in your business? Why, why is it so important to you? I, well, it's important to me, number one, because um, <laughs> my premium is, is almost as much as it costs me to put a, a roof over my head. That's mm -hmm. one of the main reasons I'm concerned about it. Number two, as a, a small business person, I don't, that, that argument just doesn't make any sense to me because if health care costs come down, it's going to benefit small business people. It has to. And it's actually, if they come down, smaller businesses are going to be able to offer health care to their employees so you know that's that's a fake fake argument yeah and I think what you just articulated there is the big idea and just punctured a lot of people's balloons with the, the myths that they've been hearing about this let me just ask you uh, one last thing about how this has all gone down after the ad ran and presumably after Senator Nelson spoke to you he put out a statement that said if this is an indication of the poli politics going into August health care reform might be dead by the end of August um, the groups paying to run this ad that features you then announced that they would triple the amount of money that they're spending to run the ad they're both sort of raising the stakes on one another what do you make of the way that this is being fought out? Do you feel like it's constructive enough, or how do you feel about it? I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it. I think my position 
represents the Democratic wing of the Democratic Party. Barack Obama was elected in this country and under his platform was to get health care done. And I think we need to get it done. Michael Snyder is the owner of the Sizzlin' Skillet restaurant in Ralston, Nebraska. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to Ralston, Nebraska, but if I do, I'm going to leave a really large tip when I eat at your restaurant. Uh, Mr. Snyder, thanks very much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. All right. So.